Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel again. General Technology Knowledge. Today I would like to show and share about how to configure the I.O. module from uh, version my I.O. to uh, CPE 330. Yes. In the previous video, we already learned about part 40. Then we uh, already uh, connected the CPE 330 to a remote I.O and uh, we already uh, tested with the digital output and digital input module okay for today i will add one more for uh, unlock input module ic200 alg264 yeah it is a uh, 15 bit and uh, 15 uh, channel yes and I will use the software Proficy Machine Edition version 9.5 to uh, download and configuration the program to the CPE 330. Okay. And I will use the part one for uh, connect from uh, CPE to the computer and do part two to connect from. Uh, CPE to the remote I.O. Okay. So let's go to our software to make the configuration and then download to the PLC. Okay. So uh, before go to our software, I would like to explain a little bit for how to wiring this module analog input. Okay. So uh, let's open. So here is the Unlock input module, 15 bits current and 15 channels. Okay, it means that we can uh, use the 15 channels for uh, current 0 to uh, 20 milliamp or 4 to uh, 20 milliamp. Okay, and this is the module overview. Yes, and let's go to see the wiring yes how to wire so uh, i will use the same the carry base tie it is the three rows right and uh, we use only a uh, part a section a yes and uh, for section b we uh, spare yeah so uh, for number terminal number 17 uh, we can uh, connect minus milliamp minus yeah let's see here is the minus yes so we can uh, jump ping the cable to the terminal uh, 17 yes for minus and if we would like to uh, connect with the standard soft current it means that the current input we can use terminal number one for uh, plus it is the i1 it means that input unload input number one or channel number one until uh, channel 15 okay so we can uh, connect minus to uh, 17 terminal and we can uh, connect plus milliamp to the terminal number one okay and this is a current source yes we can uh, read for easy to understand and it is the rank yes it is the rank for uh, 4 to 20 milliamp input current yes and uh, this is the rank 4 to 20 milliamp yes this is the data test yeah 0 to 20 milliamp also we can select 
when we uh, config but uh, normally we use 4 to milliamp to 20 milliamp for connect from instrument devices or electrical devices and here is the formula yeah okay so uh, that's all for this manual operation the first one we must uh, know about how to wire it and the second one we must know about how to uh, configure the rank yeah there are uh, two zero, sorry uh, 0 to 20 milliamp and 4 to 20 milliamp okay so let's go to our software to make the configuration yeah so let's open ProVC machine edition and then go to the existing project that we already learned in the previous video yes let's open okay and let's go to the VS1 for add one more for analog input modules yeah to add the analog input module the first step is uh, add carry base style yes yeah. so add it and right now I will use IC200 CHS022 yes what it call and then uh, right click here slot 3 yes and then add module and go to the analog input tab and then choose IC200 ALG264 the same as uh, my slide that I already uh, saw yeah, here it is this module and then double click yeah, for add the module So uh, let's check here. There are two options for use. The first one is uh, 4 to 20 milliamp. The second one is 0 to 20 milliamp. Yes. So right now I will use this option because uh, I have standard soft 4 to 20 milliamp. Yes. So uh, let's use this one. Okay. And uh, this one no need to set anything and then uh, let uh, click here and it will start from percent AI1 yes if we test on the IO table we can write start from percent AI1 okay so we need to uh, save the project and then download to the version IO right so uh, right click and then set the active target yeah. let me uh, disconnect the LAN cable from the CPE to connect to the remote I.O. Okay. okay so right now I already connected the LAN cable from uh, my computer to the remote I.O that has IP uh, 192.168.32.2 yes so uh, we can ping for test so ping 192.168 sorry 168.32.2 right okay we can ping it means that we can connect from our PC to the remote IO module okay so uh, right click and then uh, validate for check it must be uh, no error yes no error occur so we can uh, right click and then download to remote IO okay and then click OK okay done download successfully complete with uh, no error and then let's go to uh, here target our target and then set as active target yes and then I will uh, take out from take out the LAN cable from the remote I/O to connect to the CPE. Okay. So. Uh, 
so uh, we need to configuration on the consume right because we use uh, analog input yes analog input or digital input we must add in uh, consume and for analog output and digital output we must add produce right produce it means that uh, produce something to another device and uh, consume it means that uh, consume from other devices okay so right click on ps1 console and then add one more for uh, digital sorry unlock input right so uh, click bond add and then go to the tab for ai right unlock input and then it will start from uh, one and it is uh, 50 word right okay so 50 word it is a uh, 50 channel yes so that's all and then uh, we validate to check our program error or not okay no error occur so we can uh, online and then download okay download okay right now we already uh, download and I have the recommend when we uh, config the consume and uh, produce we must tick this one to uh, true if we uh, don't stop don't want to stop the CPU while we uh, download otherwise if we uh, select fall we need to stop the CPU before we can download okay so uh, this is a technique so uh, to test the analog input signal let's go to the table yes our table so double click on test table that we already created in the previous video so I can type a person AI1 yes and uh, let me adjust the milliamp okay let me show so uh, right now I already uh, connected the cable it is the minus from this one and it is plus from a uh, multimeter yes and select to uh, current DC yes okay current DC so right now it show uh, 4 milliamp from my uh, soft yeah so if I adjust to 8 milliamp yes the raw data is show also let's see here okay 12 milliamp yes 16 milliamp and uh, 20 milliamp yeah 20 milliamp is uh, it is the maximum yes so uh, let me show on the manual operation So our manual operation is around uh, 32,000, right? For 20 milliamp, yes. And this one, around uh, nearly 32,000, okay? So it is uh, accuracy uh, error a little bit, yeah? So it is uh, 20 milliamp. So if we would like to test the point or channel number two we can uh, disconnect from channel number one and then just uh, and then just uh, connect to channel number two it means that terminal number two yes okay and you show Okay, let's see here. I already uh, connected to uh, terminal number two. 
from the soft device. So if I adjust, yeah, adjust eight milliamp, yeah. Let's see. Here is have raw data. Yes. Twelve milliamp, sixteen milliamp, twenty milliamp. Yes. And uh, it show the raw data is correctly. Okay. It show uh, nearly uh, thirty two thousand for raw data. Yes. So if we would like to connect from the instrument, we can use this step for uh, connect and making the rank for uh, show the signal. Okay, and I will uh, explain in the next video about how to uh, connect with the the rank or scale that we already learned in the previous video. Yes. So. It is the instruction how to add the analog input module to uh, CPE330 yes, and test with the source devices that connect to the multimeter for uh, compare. Yes. So if everyone have any questions, please kindly drop comment under my video. I will reply soon. And I'm also sorry if I have mistake in this video. And I would like to request all of you to like, share, and subscribe my video also to get more notification and more new videos that I will create step by step. So in this time, I would like to say thank you very much again. And see you next videos. Bye-bye.